Hey everyone, welcome to Dillard Draws. Uh, what I decided to do right now, there's a this this picture is getting pretty infamous right now. It's all over the internet, uh, all over Twitter especially, and uh, it's of Captain Marvel uh, from one of her latest comic books. And uh, people are criticizing it because uh, the face is kind of uh, very overly uh, stylized. The the style that the artist draws in very very broad faced, and uh, but this particular picture is. Uh, I guess substantially egregious to some people. So I, what I'm doing here is I'm kind of just, I'm not trying to change the artist's style, but just uh, moving the anatomy around just to make it more, uh, yeah, closer to traditional, um, regular, which you would normally find on a human face. I got rid of these outlines of these nostrils. They're a little bit too broad. Um, working on a girl's face, you don't want to make these, you, you really actually don't want to outline the nostrils, uh, no matter how thin it is, so. And normally the edges of the mouth don't go past the pupils of the eyes, so I went and got rid of the excess uh, mouth line there. And this, it's already starting to take a little bit more traditional shape. Now, eyebrows don't normally have these crazy shapes. They have a set shape usually, no matter what. And she does have a cocked eyebrow, so I just kind of erased the spots that you don't need, added a little bit of color and a line above the uh, brow just to show that she's a uh, has a little bit of attitude because I think that the, the direction they're going they want her to have a little more attitude um, you know uh, in, in these days I put a little bit more shadow uh, highlights and got rid of that really really heavy bottom lip um, and something that I forgot to do was uh, actually move the mouth up a little bit it's a little bit too low uh, on a normal face so just taking a moment to kind of assess uh, this heavy black line uh, is no good. She doesn't have very large breasts in this picture, so this real heavy, heavy drop shadow wouldn't be necessary. And uh, so I had to get rid of that. I just made it less, uh, less apparent. Um, also, the uh, the face itself is a little bit, it's, it's a little bit too big overall in general. So I I made it just a tad smaller and raised it up to give her a neckline, because um, she is kind of a, a haughty character. She she walks around rather proud, so I wanted to give her a longer neck. And uh, you know, getting rid of this seam here. So I think it came out pretty good. What I did do after is, here's the final image. I, I dropped I, uh, her mouth that's very low. I kind of picked that up a little bit to lessen the space between the uh, the, the nose and the mouth. Um, typically, it doesn't really work if you have a large space between, um, when you're drawing a woman, between the, the bottom of the nose and the top of the mouth. That's more of a manly uh, aspect. But, you know, she does have this little, like, alley larder look now. Uh, who does have a larger jaw. She's very stern looking. Uh, she still kind of captures or still kind of retains the whole, you know, authority figure, but not being so, you know, like it is. So, uh, you know, thanks for watching. And uh, if you like this stuff, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my Indiegogo. I have a Indiegogo live right now. I'm crowdfunding a comic book called The Buckler. Uh, so if you like what you see, please support. See y'all later. Bye.